Hi, thanks for joining me again. Today I'm looking at one of our heavy duty chrome bottle opener kits, which is one of those there. Now, if I had any sense at all, I would show you the easy way of doing it um, and use uh, one of our chrome end caps. This doesn't come with this as standard, but we do sell these separately. It's a little chrome end cap. It means you can put a six millimeter hole in one end, eight millimeter hole in this end, and you can then turn between centers, makes it really easy. But as that is extra, and that comes on its own, I'm going to show you how to make a handle for this part only um, with an 8mm drill. Um, I have my blank here at the ready. Um, let's go to the lathe. The first thing I'm going to do is mount the blank between centres and turn it roughly round and put a small dovetail on each end ready to insert in the chuck. little dovetails at these ends that I'm going to pop that in one end and just roughly, just loosely tighten it at this point. I'm going to bring up my tail stock and make sure that it's aligned in the center so we're still central to that I'm just pushing that little dovetail right up to the end of that uh, chuck there to get it nice and secure and nice and level so the tighter we have it the better and we'll tighten that off and we'll just double check spinning it by hand that we are pretty much in the middle um, now what I'm going to do is remove the live tail stock put a Jacobs chuck on this end and drill with an eight millimeter drill down this end of the blank now before I go any further I'm just going to talk to you about this thread because we do get questions on these. It's a slightly odd thread in that I don't know I don't think the camera will quite pick up but you'll see it's um, flattened off on either side. So it's about eight and a half millimeters at its widest point and this bit across here is seven and a half millimeters. So with all kits it's important that you measure your kit to start with but with these just make sure you measure the right bit. Uh, and you need to measure the widest bit. So this is eight and a half millimeters on the outside of the threads. So the drill bit we're gonna use is an eight millimeter. So we've got a little bit of bite in there. And the reason that these are squared off is because it's quite a long thread. It's 30 mils long um, along there and it gets to be quite hard work to actually screw it in. So by flattening off the threads here, um, it just makes it slightly easier to get this into the handle when it's been made. So the next thing, as I said, 8mm drill bit, and we're going to go in, this is 30mm um, long, uh, so we're going to go in about 45mm through here, um, because we're not going to be using this bit of the kit, this, this bit of the handle is going to be stuffed up here in the lay, so we can't use that, so that's coming off. So we're drilling not too fast, 6 700 uh, RPM should be ideal. Just to double check that we're still central, I've bought up um, live tail stock again. I'm just going to pop that in that end there and lock it off and just very, very slightly trim this uh, dovetail at this end. You will see there's a little bit of movement um, on that end. Hopefully now we've done that central to there. Now we're going to turn this round um, and use the center point at the other end will make sure that the handle is nice and level when it comes to putting it together. So this is our drilled end and this is now going to go into the chuck that way. And again I'm not tightening that up fully, I'm going to bring up the tail stock, lock it off and make sure using the point that we've center point that we've got at this end, make sure that's nice and centered before I tighten this off at this end.
And I've then put a little mark up here where I'm going to take the, the handle off. And I'm now just going to try and finish off this end here uh, whilst it's supported on this end before we do the final sanding and finishing. So I'm going to finish off the handle, part it off flat, and I can sand it afterwards if it's not quite flat, and then we'll attach it to the project kit and the job's finished. So we finished that and we're now ready to insert the kit. Before we do, it's worth having one final check of the depth to make sure that it is deep enough to take the project kit. If it isn't quite deep enough, um, just pop it under the pillar drill, pop the drill in the end just to go in a little bit further. Um, it will follow uh, the hole that you've already drilled, so it, it, won't, uh, it won't go wonky as long as you're quite careful. So double check that measurement and then we're ready to screw the the end project kit in and it's then just a question of screwing in the end of the kit it's quite a long thread and it will take quite a while to thread it through and it's quite hard work but you'll be sure that when it's together it won't be coming apart again you can of course glue these but um, you, there's no real need to uh, to do that and there we go, there we have one finished bottle opener kit. Well I hope that's been useful. Um, there again we have the finished project kit. Uh, so for this bit of wood, 8mm pilot hole for the kit part here. If you're using a different uh, medium, and here I've got um, a bit of kitchen counter, for the life of me I can't remember what it's called, but this took an 8.5mm hole because the thread won't cut into this, is really really hard. Um, so 8.5mm hole, hole in something like Corian or worktop or acrylic, um, any hard material like that, 8mm hole uh, in the wood. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, we hope, of course, that you'll visit the website. We don't advertise on YouTube, but the way we make our living is from selling wood turning kits and hardware. So please come and have a look around. If we can help at all, again, please get in touch. And we look forward to seeing you at our next video. Cheerio.